Good morning you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a surprise mini makeover. So as you probably read from the title, I'm going to be doing a surprise makeover on a prayer closet. My sister-in-law asked me months ago to help her with this prayer closet, but our schedules are always like the exact opposite. We were never available at the same exact time to get together, to actually do it, to paint, to like put it all together basically. But she did send me a bunch of inspiration pictures and in true fashion and what I do, I was like, you know what? Let me just message her husband, my brother-in-law, and see when I can go over, just open the door, I'll go in, I'll do it while she's at work. Pretty sure she works until like four o'clock, so I have plenty of time. This is gonna be the fastest makeover I have ever done because I need to do it in less than like three hours. So basically painting and decorating, putting stuff up, seems easy enough because it's a really small space, but then again, nothing ever goes to plan. So before I actually get out the house, so it's early, like it is, it's 7.30 in the morning. I have to leave in an hour and a half to go take Ezzy to school. And right after I drop him off, I'm going straight to my sister-in-law's house. So she has no idea that I'm coming. So I need to make sure I pack everything in the car now because I'm not coming back home. Because once I'm on that side of the town, I'm just gonna go straight there, it's closer. So before I even get there, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got or that I picked up or that I found I think would go good in the closet because I know as soon as I get there I'm gonna be like okay game time just work 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 and I'm not gonna have time to actually sit there and like explain to you guys where I got everything so as you guys see it's gonna be a prayer closet so basically just something comfortable cozy and organized where she can go in there and put up her prayers on the wall and like just make it a space of her own so all I'm doing today is basically doing the base of everything and then just letting her finish off and decorating however she wants let me show you guys the little things that I've gotten so far you guys seen this in my last vlog i went to the thrift stores i got these four little baskets for a dollar and then i got this little fan for 50 cents and then i do have these baskets that i never used for a makeover so i did want to add some hooks in there for her so i'm going to be using these baskets for organization and then as you guys seen from my last vlog i got this at goodwill for a dollar 75 and then i picked up this shabby rug at gabe's for 12 dollars it's a pretty decent size and I'm hoping that it covers the entire floor of the closet. That way it's not the same rug that she has in the living room. I ordered these hooks off of Amazon. Super cute, tiny, and renter friendly. And then I have this like napkin holder thing. But I feel like this would be perfect for her to like put her prayer requests, slips, or something inside of it to kind of organize it that way. And I got all these little mini fake plants from Dollar General. Uh, Dollar General had like an additional 50% off all the clearance that was already 50% off. So these came out to like 67 cents cents each they're super cute tiny they'll match the colors perfectly and i had this old frame i think this would be perfect to put in there for her so she could put like bible verse of the day or bible verse of the week that or something that she wants to memorize um she could just put it right behind here and kind of like tape it on there and then hang it up and this will be like a, a weekly thing that she can reuse all the time so if you've been watching me for a while i had this over the kids play nook for a long time it just says start today with jesus i think it'd be perfect for her room obviously matches the theme and then I have leftover LED lights from the basement. So I'm going to see if I can put this in the closet and then change the colors to like whatever vibe she's going for that day. And then lastly, this has just been downstairs in the basement unused and it's so cute. It needs a home. And that's it. So the rest is like random stuff I still have to find and put in the cars. Okay, so there is more stuff that I need. So I did buy these three slats. Thinking of giving her a slat wall. I gotta bring my paints, uh, my paint roller, a couple more pieces of wood, and then my tools. And then I'm also gonna need something from in here. Oh, it's actually right here. Let's go. Okay, we're here, sorry. But, okay, so we're here. I got everything inside, so the first thing that I have to do is paint. So I think I'm gonna do like a three quarters of the way paint. Oh, I'm gonna leave the ceiling open, so I feel like if I do it like, maybe almost all the way like right here it'll have the appearance of it being bigger like looking big, bigger and feeling bigger my only issue is going to be trying to get this little girl actually i think i could just move the couch and block her i have my little worker right here so i'm gonna tape up the area first where i want to stop and then we're gonna paint a couple hours from japan would you stay awake i'm losing touch of who i am when you're far away I'm running in circles around you mm. And I know I've been acting strange for a while But I want you close I just need you to know 
Okay, I'm done painting. So I'm just gonna take everything out. While this dries, I'm gonna give it like an hour to dry as much as it can because, you know, I'm doing this all in one day. So I'm gonna start working on the slat wall and then uh, the shelf that I wanna put in, start working on the little DIYs that I'm gonna do. Yeah, maybe three and a half. Okay, so three and a half for the slat. I'm gonna be using the color Special Walnut. Okay, so I have all my slat pieces. So I think I'm just gonna do like a corner slat thing. Just do it kind of one, two, three, one, two, three, and then do like a little shelf on top, like a very small shelf. Okay, so now just did like a little stand shelf thing there. Super easy, quick with like scrap wood that I had around. But now they have area to put a shelf on here. I had one extra long board from previous projects, and I'm gonna see if it'll fit just right or if I have to cut like an inch or two off of it. Okay, looks like one inch. <laughs> Literally one inch off. Okay, let's try again. Yay! It's perfect! Perfect! Okay, let me clean up my mess really quick, but got to the really fun part, you guys. Now I get to put everything in. Life is a winding road. No telling where Okay, okay, okay. So I have an idea. So where the line is, I'm thinking of doing the baskets. Like in a line right there. Don't stop the traffic lights. Alright, I'm gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna put the LED lights up real quick. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Okay you guys, it is 110. <laughs> So I've been here for like three and a half hours, but I'm all done. I'm so excited for her to get home in a few hours. I won't be here when she when she sees it. Here is the before footage, and this is what it looks like now. And there it is you guys so the led lights that i had and i was trying to put them on they must have broke on the ride here because they did not want to turn on i'm so sad so it's like really dark but i just let her husband know he said he's gonna try to find her like a battery powered like candle or lantern or something to put in there but it looks so good you guys i love it sorry my daughter is ready to go a lot of empty spaces everywhere so that she can customize it and make her own and add whatever she wants to add i just wanted to at least do the base so that way it's ready for her and all she has to do is just add her little pretty things i hope you enjoyed this little makeover if you like it please give it a thumbs up as always i appreciate the support and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys